Hi everyone. Welcome back. Okay. So now let's study planar graph. This is the topic. Planar graph. Now, <clears throat> in this planar graph, actually, let me tell you, if I tell you to draw KN, so, okay, first, actually, let me tell you what is edge crossing. Edge crossing in a drawing. In a drawing, uh, in a 2D drawing, basically, in a drawing uh, in 2D plane. In a drawing in a 2D plane. So, tell me, okay, in a 2D plane, this is a 2D plane, okay, yes or no? Now, in this 2D plane, this type of, this type of, this type of drawing is called drawing with edge crossing. Yes or no? In this 2D plane, these edges are crossing. Yes or no? So edge crossing in a drawing in in a drawing in 2D plane in 2D plane. So this type of thing, this is called drawing with edge crossing. I can say this is basically edge crossing. But this is edge crossing in drawing. Okay, in 2D drawing, I can say in drawing in a 2D plane. Yes or no? Can I can I draw this diagram without edge crossing? This graph, this graph, can I draw without edge crossing? So this graph A, B, C, D, this graph, this graph G, this I can draw very easily without edge crossing. Okay. So I can say that this is A, B and C, D. So you can notice same graph, same graph, but this is a, this is a drawing without edge crossing. You can say this is drawing without edge crossing. The graph is same. The graph is same. This is drawing without edge crossing. And this is a drawing with the edge crossing. Yes or no? Correct. With edge crossing. Now, now let me tell you. Okay. Let me ask you. How can you draw K4? Okay. So draw K4. We have seen many dif different drawings of K4. Can you draw K4? So how will you draw K4? There are many ways I have I have told you to draw K4. Okay, this is a way. Yes or no? This is the this is this is you already know A B C D. Yes or no? This is one drawing. Okay. What else? What else? A B C D. Yes or no? What else? What else? A B C D. Yes or no? What else? A, B, C, D. Okay. Can you see? All these are K4. Yes or no? All these are K4. Okay. So let's call it drawing 1. Let's call it drawing 2. Let's call it drawing 3. Let's call it drawing 4. So tell me which are the drawing? Okay. With edge crossing. Can you see? Which is the drawing with edge crossing? Which are the drawing here with, with edge crossing? Edge crossing drawing. What is that? Tell me. You have four drawing. Which, which drawing has edge crossing? D1. And without edge crossing? Without edge crossing. Without edge crossing. That is D2, D3. Uh, that is D2, D3, D4. Yes or no? Yes or no? So can you notice this graph K4, if I ask you, this graph K4, can you draw without edge crossing? This is the question. Can you draw K4 without edge crossing? This is the question. Okay. Can we draw? Can we draw? And when, when I say draw, then it means in 2D plane. Yes or no? I am I am asking 2D plane by default. Okay. So you can see, can you draw, can we draw K4 without edge crossing? Can we draw it without edge crossing? So the answer is yes. Yes or no? Answer is yes. Answer is yes, I can draw. Okay. So that's the reason this is called planar graph. So I can say K4 is planar graph. Planar graph means a graph which can be drawn without edge crossing. A plan is planar graph. Okay. Is it clear to everyone? Planar graph means a graph which can be drawn 
without edge crossing okay so this is the planar graph definition this is the definition of planar graph a, a graph which can be drawn which can be remember which can be drawn without edge crossing without okay so you can notice so k4 is a planar graph yes or no now actually this drawing all these drawings without edge crossing these drawings these drawings are called planar representation okay so a drawing now let me tell you this is the definition of planar graph now a drawing without edge crossing a drawing of graph g graph g without edge crossing without edge crossing a drawing which is without edge crossing okay a drawing without edge crossing that drawing is called what that okay is called planar representation is called planar representation or you can call it planar embedding okay so tell me here for example in this you can notice in this graph which is a planar representation k4 is planar graph you can notice here so here k4 is planar graph we will call it planar graph why we will call it planar graph because it can be drawn because it can be drawn without edge crossing we can draw it we can draw it without edge crossing and tell me what is d1 d1 is non plan, uh, non planar representation yes or no d1 is non planar representation yes or no non planar representation non planar representation non planar representation of k4 and what is d2 d3 d4 what are those those are planar representation of k4 okay so this is the definition is it clear to everyone so this is a planar representation i can call it pr this is planar representation of k4 okay yes or no very simple so i can say this is planar representation of k4 and similarly i can say that this is planar representation of k4 similarly this is also planar representation of k4 okay so can you tell me this is my question is this planar graph a b c is this planar graph is this graph planar this is my question is this planar graph the answer is yes okay another question is this is this planar graph is this planar graph is this planar graph is this planar graph tell me yes of course planar graph see the definition a graph which can be which can be drawn without edge crossing without edge crossing can i draw without edge crossing yes this is planar graph yes this is planar graph remember yes because because we can draw it without edge crossing this graph i can draw without edge crossing is it clear to everyone this graph can be drawn without edge crossing so remember this point this is important point many students miss out see this graph is planar if i ask you with what is this graph then this graph g then i can say g is planar this graph is definitely planar graph okay this graph is definitely planar graph but this drawing this drawing is not planar representation this drawing is not a planar representation see the difference between planar graph and planar representation yes or no this is not a planar representation of g yes or no but you can notice this is planar representation of g this this drawing this is planar representation of g yes or no tell me planar representation of g so can you notice 
This graph is a planar graph. This graph is also planar graph. This graph is also planar graph. But this is planar representation of G. This is not a planar representation of G. Is this clear to everyone? So can I say what is the definition of planar graph in terms of planar representation? What is the definition? Tell me. Planar graph. G is planar. Tell me. Graph G is planar. Graph G is planar if and only if there is some planar representation. Yes or no? There is at least one planar representation. There is some planar representation. Isn't it? Tell me. There is some planar representation. Yes or no? It can be drawn without edge crossing. Yes or no? Tell me. Is this clear to everyone? A graph is planar if and only if there is some planar representation of G. And planar representation means drawing without edge crossing. This you already know. If there is some drawing without edge crossing. Okay. So very simple. So this is the point. So can you tell me, okay, which of these graph is planar? Okay. So can you tell me, C, tell me which graph is planar? What about CN? Are they planar? What about CN? Are they planar? Yes, they are planar, right? Because you can draw without, you can draw without edge crossing. You can draw them without edge crossing. Okay. What about K1, K2, K3? What about those? K1, K2, K3? Tell me. K1, K2, K3, K4. What about those? Yes, planar. We have seen, we have seen K4 without edge crossing. Okay. And what can you tell me? about a star graph. What can you tell me about star graph? Again, this is planar because this type of graph, this type of graph is star graph. Okay. Yes or no. What can you tell me about K2 comma M? K2 comma N? K2 comma N? This is a complete K2 comma N. Think about it and tell me. K2 comma N. Can anyone tell me why? For example, K2 comma K2 comma 10. K2 comma 10. Why can anyone tell me? Raul, can you tell me why? Yes, this is planar. Yes, this is planar. K2 comma N. Yes, this is planar. This is complete bipartite graph. Satyajit. This is complete bipartite graph. Yes or no? Complete bipartite graph. Don't forget the previous things complete bipartite graph so tell me yes very good sandeep very good very good so k2 comma 10 yes this is planar yes this is planar why very simple c okay for example let's take example k2 comma 4 let's take okay if you take like this this is your k2 comma 4 yes or no tell me first this is k2 comma 4 yes or no this is K2 comma 4. Yes or no? This is K2 comma 4. Correct? This is K2 comma 4. But what I can do? What I can do? Very simple. What I can do? Like this I can do. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. I put A here. I put B here. C. Isn't it? A little bit trick. A little small trick I am applying. Yes or no? Very good. Yes or no? So this is planar representation of, I can say this is planar representation of K2, 4. So K2, 4 is planar. Similarly, K2, N is also planar. Yes or no? K2, N. This is also planar. Because what you can do, this is how you can do. A1, A2, AN, and you have here B1, and here you have B2. So you can do like this very easy, very easy. Yes or no? So now did you get the idea about planar graph? This is a planar graph. Yes, this is a planar graph. This graph is also, yes, this is also planar graph. This is a planar graph, but this is not planar representation. Yes or no? This is planar graph, but not planar representation. Yes or no? But not 
planar representation of K24. Correct? Is it is it clear to everyone this concept? Some examples we have taken to explain. Clear? What about path graph? Path graph PN. That is also planar, right? Yes or no? Okay. So these are some examples that we have taken. CS, I will explain, don't worry. Right now I'm okay. As we proceed, I will explain all the things. Okay. So this is the concept of planar graph. Now let's see the next concept that is okay, phase in a planar representation. So this concept is also important. Let's see phase, or you can say reason. We will call it phase, or you can call it reason. So this is I will give, don't worry. I will prove that some graphs are non planar. We will prove it. Okay, but wait. Phase slash reason of planar graph of a planar in a planar representation. Phase or reason in a planar representation. Okay, in a planar representation. So, what is a phase? Phase is basically anything which is surrounded by edges. Okay. This is basically area surrounded by edges. Surrounded by edges. Okay, this is the simplest definition of, for example, remember you must have planar representation. Okay, this is defined only for planar representation. You must have planar representation. For example, let's take this graph. Okay, in this graph, we have two areas which are surrounded by edges. Yes or no? This area, yes or no? Can you see? This area, this is face. This is surrounded by edges, yes or no? And this is another face. Okay, because this is another face, outer face. This is your outer, or you can say exterior, exterior face. And this is your interior face, yes or no? F1, this is interior. So, can you see area surrounded by edges? This is the simplest definition. Okay. So, Raj, I told you this is simplest definition. That is the reason. This is not a formal definition. This is simplest definition. Basically, okay, you can, <clears throat> so this outer area you will always have. Okay, I will explain, don't worry. Now, let's see how many faces are there in this. A, B, C, D. How many faces I have? Tell me. How many faces are here? You can notice this is surrounded by edges. Yes or no? This is this is surrounded by edges. So F1. This is surrounded by edges. Okay. And this outer area, this outer area, yes or no? This outer area that is F3. Yes or no? Is it clear to everyone? So total okay. You can notice one thing. Okay, now let me tell you the definition, the proper definition. I will tell you. You can notice that if you have a planar representation, okay. So let's assume you have a planar graph. Assume G is a planar graph. This is a planar graph. Because for planar graph, we have planar representation. Yes or no? For planar graph, we have planar representation. So let's assume G is a planar graph. And assume, assume, assume P is planar representation. Okay. This P, this is planar representation. Representation of G. Okay, so you have a planar representation. Automatically, planar representation means without edge crossing. Yes or no? Then you can notice that the complete 2D plane is divided into faces. Then what will happen? Tell me. Then this will happen. Then, okay, the 2D plane, the 2D plane, the complete 2D plane is partitioned. It's partitioned, okay, into, into, face into faces or you can say into regions okay into regions by by what by p or g by p or g by p so by by this planar representation you have a planar representation you always must have planar representation and by this planar representation 
the 2D plane is divided, is partitioned into the complete 2D plane is partitioned into faces or regions. Okay. And so this is the this is a simple point. And you can notice that how much area is a face? What is face? Okay. So let's see how much area we can say that how much area is a face. So face is basically an area. Okay. This is basically a, a maximal area. What is this? This is a largest or you can say maximal area. This is maximal area of 2D of, of points in 2D plane of points in a 2D plane. This is a maximal area of points in 2D plane. Okay. Of, of this 2D plane, how do you can say maximal area of 2D plane? Okay. Maximal area of 2D plan, plane in which we can go from any point to any point, from any point to any point, any point to any other point, okay, any other point without crossing any vertex or edge, without having to cross, without having to cross any vertex or edge of graph. Is it clear to everyone? Like this is the formal definition, but intuitively you understand. Okay, always intuitively understand. For example, let me explain. This is just a formal definition. Let's understand intuitively. Tell me, this is your 2D plane, yes or no? This is your 2D plane. Can you see my pointer? Can you see my pointer? Everyone, is my pointer visible? This is 2D plane. Now you can notice, first thing you can notice, a planar representation. Okay, a planar representation will will partition. Okay, a planar representation will partition the 2D plane into faces. So you can notice that you can notice this this 2D plane we can partition into faces. Face F3. You can notice from this point you can go to any point. Yes or no? From this point you can go to without crossing any vertex, without crossing any edge. Yes or no? Tell me. Tell me yes or no. You can go to any point, yes or no, from anywhere without crossing any, without crossing. So this is your F, this is your face F3. Let's call it F3. Okay. Or let's call it FE, face exterior, because this is exterior face, yes or no? Exterior face. You can go anywhere. Now tell me, from this point, can you go to this point without crossing A's or without crossing vertex? From this point, can you go to this point? No. So you can notice this area, this is also a face, yes or no? This is a face F1. From this, you cannot go here, yes or no? From this, you cannot go here. From this, you cannot go here without crossing A's or without crossing edges, vertices. So these are the three faces. The formal definition, is it clear to everyone? This is the formal definition. But we will understand intuitive definition because that is very nice. Okay, let's take examples and let me ask you, so how many faces are there in this graph? Tell me how many faces, number of faces. Yes, only one face is there. You can notice number of faces. What is that? Only one. Okay, you can notice the, the only face you have is exterior face, yes or no? The only face is exterior face. This is the only face we have. Okay, is it clear? Now tell me how many faces? Tell me how many faces I, I have here in this graph. How many faces? You can notice two faces. This is exterior face and this is interior face. Yes or no? This is interior face. Very intuitive. This definition intuitively understand. If you don't, if you formal definition, I gave you for the sake of, uh, for the sake of completeness, but intuitively understand some concepts must be understood intuitively. Okay. So you can intuitively understand this is outer face. Okay. From here, you cannot, you can go here. Okay. From here, you can go here, 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 here. Yes or no? Here. Yes or no? But you cannot go here from here. From here, you cannot go here. Yes or no? You cannot go without crossing edges or vertices. Yes or no? 
without crossing edges or vertices you cannot go here so you can notice this is the point but from here you can go here correct is it clear to everyone so finally this definition you can use very simple so what is a face this is basically area surrounded this is sim this simple definition use okay the simple definition i can say simple definition or you can say intuitive definition what is that area surrounded by edges yes or no area surrounded by edges area surrounded by edges or outside all the edges yes or no outside all the edges so like this outside all the edges is it clear area surrounded by edges or outside all the edges so very simple tell me how many faces are here in this graph how many faces do we have for this graph how many faces we have and the answer is what the answer is f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 answer is 5 and you have lost two marks 2.66 marks is this planar graph it's this planar graph Tarandeep, yes, this is planar graph. Why? See, yes, this is planar graph. Yes, this is planar graph. I am repeating again. Why are you making mistake? Yes, of course, this is planar graph. This is K four, and K four is planar graph. But this is not a planar representation. This is not a planar representation. Not. planar representation yes or no not a planar representation of g the concept of face is defined for what tell me the concept of face we have defined the concept of face is defined for planar representation see this face concept is defined for planar representation is it clear is this clear tell me the concept of face is defined for planar representation of graph so what you will do here ananya this concept is not defined for non planar graph for non planar graph we don't have we don't for non planar graph we don't have planar representation yes or no tell me yes or no okay for planar graph we have planar representation yes or no if you have a planar graph then you have planar representation yes or no tell me planar graph you have then it means you have planar representation and if you have planar representation if you have planar representation of a graph then it is planar graph yes or no for planar graph we have planar representation for example k4 k4 is planar graph this is planar graph and for k4 you can notice i have planar representation i have planar representation you can notice i have a planar representation okay so because k4 is planar graph so i have planar representation i have planar representation so it is planar graph hari krishna planar representation is unique or not this is the question planar representation of planar graph is it unique or not the answer is big no we have already seen 
for K4. You can notice K4 is planar graph, yes or no? K4 is planar graph, yes or no? Because planar graph means it can be drawn without edge crossing. Planar graph means it can be drawn without edge crossing. G is planar, graph is planar. G is planar. If it can be drawn, if and only if G can be drawn without edge crossing, yes or no? G can be, G can be drawn without edge crossing. And without edge crossing, drawn without edge crossing, what is that? Drawn without edge crossing. This means a planar representation, yes or no? This drawing, this drawing is called planar representation. Yes or no, tell me. So now here, K4 is planar graph, but we have many different planar representation. I have already given you many different planar representation. This is a planar representation PR1, okay? This is a planar representation. This is PR2. Okay. This is a planar representation. Let's call it PR3. Yes or no? Tell me. So, planar representation is not unique. Yes or no? Is this clear? Now, anyone has any doubt? Let me know. Any doubt? Ask it. Okay, don't worry. I'm just making sure you get everything. Tell me, if graph is planar, then? Sorry, uh, can, can you, uh, what is the doubt? If graph, graph is planar, but not in planar representation, or Raj, I will answer this doubt. Avinas, I will answer this doubt. This will come in future. Okay, so far, is your doubt clear? Now, for this graph, for this graph, if I ask you, for this graph, if I ask you, for example, if I ask you the question that how many faces in this graph? Okay, if I ask you this question, okay, A, B, C, D, okay, and you find number of faces, number of faces in graph G. Can I ask you this question? Number of faces in graph G, can I ask you this question? This question can be asked. The number of faces in graph G, if I ask you, then what you can do? Always convert into planar representation. Yes or no? Convert into planar representation. So first, what you do? Before you answer, don't answer five. Answer is not five. Answer is not five. So because, so don't find number of faces in non-planar representation. This is the point. You can notice here. Don't answer, answer is not five. Okay, five is not an answer. This is wrong answer. This is wrong answer. Because what you will do? Because what you need to do? Okay, so this is not. Don't find number of faces. Don't find faces in non-planar representation. In non-planar representation, okay? Second, if ask, okay, if you have a planar graph, then find number of faces in planar representation. Convert into planar representation, okay? Convert into planar representation. Okay, then find, then find faces. Is it clear to everyone? Convert into planar representation. Planar representation means without edge crossing. Convert without edge crossing. Okay, so tell me what you will do here in this question, what you will do? First, you will convert into planar representation. Let me convert D. Okay, any planar representation, that is your choice. Okay, whatever planar representation you want, you can convert. Okay, many planar, planar representation you can have, but what that is your choice. Okay, now find number of faces. Tell me, now find number of faces here. Can you see? Now this is F1, now this is F2, this is F3, and this is Fe. So total how many faces, tell me? So number of faces is 
फोर यस और नो यू कैन कन्वर्ट इन टू एनी प्लेनर रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके वोट एवर प्लेनर रिप्रेजेंटेशन यू वॉन्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन राइट दिस टेल मी हाउ मेनी फेसेज विल बी दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो प्लेनर रिप्रेजेंटेशन यस और नो टेल मी यस और नो दिस इज ऑल्सो प्लेनर रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो नंबर ऑफ फेसेज हाउ मेनी एफ वन एफ टू एफ थ्री एफ ई सो अगेन नंबर ऑफ फेसेज इज फोर ओके सिमिलरली वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन डू दिस ऑल्सो ए बी सी डी यू कैन डू दिस ऑल्सो हाउ मेनी फेसेज वी हैव टेल मी हाउ मेनी फेसेज एफ वन एफ टू एफ थ्री एफ ई यस और नो अगेन नंबर ऑफ फेसेज इज फोर so number of faces can you notice one thing can you notice one thing that number of faces is always same in any planar representation can you notice this is just a observation this is just a observation that okay this is observation that i can i can give you the proof i will give you of after some time but this observation you can make what is that if g is planar If G is planar, because okay, if G is planar, then number of faces in each planar representation, yes or no? In each planar representation of G is the same. This observation you can make, yes or no? Can you can you make this observation from this? You can notice whatever planar representation you take, whatever you take planar representation. the number of faces is coming same yes or no tell me is this clear everyone tell me clear okay let me ask you this question how many how many faces in the in the following graph in the in graph qn in q3 how many faces in q3 This is our Q3. Tell me, do you know Q3? Yes or no? This is your Q3. Yes or no? This is the Q3. We have seen this. But this, okay, this Q3. First, you find out is it planar graph? Is this planar graph? First, you find out is this planar graph or not? Okay, so this is Q3. but this is not a planar representation not a planar representation the first thing that you must find out is is this a planar graph or not no not a planar representation is this a planar graph yes this is a planar graph why why because i can give you planar representation why i have already given in the isomorphism yes rahul correct in the isomorphism chapter i have already given okay this is planar graph by because we can we can draw without edge crossing we can draw without edge crossing yes or no we can draw without edge crossing like this okay you can notice like this you can draw in the isomorphism chapter i told you yes or no this we have seen like this can you see this is planar representation yes or no this is planar representation of q3 how many faces we have very simple f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 fe so number of faces what is that number of faces 6 okay number of exterior faces tell me number of exterior faces that is always one right that is always one yes or no and number of interior faces that is five okay is it clear to everyone now some small small observations can you notice that if you have this is my question number of exterior faces in any graph what is that in any finite planar graph in any finite planar graph in any finite planar graph what is that that is always one yes or no if you have a finite planar graph 
you have a some finer planar graph you have okay some finer planar graph you have then number of exterior faces will always be one this complete area is exterior face yes or no this is your face fe correct correct or not so number of interior faces what that will be will be number of faces minus 1 yes or no number of faces minus 1 for finite planar graph for finite planar graph yes or no very simple all these points now let me ask you what is the number of faces in a tree tell me the number of faces in a tree what is that number of faces in a tree yes one the only face you will have is exterior face yes or no fe this is the only face only face is fe okay because you have a tree okay you have a tree you have a tree if you have a tree if you have a tree then number of faces will be what the okay because there is no cycle so you can see number of faces with what number of faces is only one that is fe number of faces yes or no simple number of faces in a forest what is that number of faces in a forest again one again same one because if you have forest okay some some forest you have sorry some forest you have some forest you have then you can notice the only face is the only face is fe yes or no only face is fe exterior face now tell me another question all these small small observations are very important let me ask you another question when is it possible that you have a face with oh sorry actually this this i need to ask you after some time but okay so let me diff, okay this face this face concept is over everyone has the idea of the concept of face now let's see the concept of degree of face okay let us see what is degree of a face the degree of face is basically number of times a face is touching edges number of face number of times a face is touching edges or you can basically okay in simple words do you remember the degree of the degree concept degree of a vertex do you remember that concept degree of a vertex degree of a vertex in uh, in in any pseudograph in any pseudograph do you remember that concept degree of a vertex in pseudograph see the definition we write like this the number of edges incident on a vertex this is how we write the definition the number of edges incident on a vertex this is how we write yes or no on a vertex but what we actually mean can anyone tell me see the definition we write like this but tell me what is the degree of a here what is the degree of a tell me the degree of a here degree of a is 4 but how many edges are incident on a how many edges are incident on a tell me how many edges incident on a how many edges incident on a how many edges incident on a okay for example okay let's take this graph so let's take this graph so you can notice the degree of a is 3 how many edges are incident on a how many edges incident on a only two can you notice this definition is not clear this definition is not correct definition yes or no can you notice this definition is not correct definition tell me yes or no but the point is let me tell you but the point is the definition is this 
But what we mean? We mean number of times edges are incident on a vertex. See that when you see this definition in books, there are some books that will give you this type of definition: number of times. There are books. Okay, they will say that number of times edges are incident on a vertex. But there are some books they will give this definition. But they will what they mean? They mean number of times edges are incident on a vertex. What we mean? We mean number of times. Yes or no? Number of times. edges are incident on a vertex edges are falling on a vertex yes or no tell me this is the definition correct or not now you can notice number of times edges are falling on a vertex so tell me how many times this okay edges are falling on a vertex you can notice three times yes or no and this is one time so here degree is one here degree is three is this idea clear to everyone let me know now let's see this idea degree phase okay degree of phase number of times a face is touching edges okay in simple words we will write, okay this is the actual definition but in simple words we will say number of edges a face is falling on number of edges a face is falling on a face is falling on okay face is touching or you can say face is falling on or you can say touching for example okay let's take this example a b c d okay so we have two faces yes or no we have face 1 and we have face e how many edges face 1 is touching tell me how many edges you can notice this is this is this is this is yes or no so degree of f1 what is that degree of f1 is 4 and how many edges f e is touching this f e this fe this is touching how many edges so how many edges so degree of fe what is that that is 4 yes or no this is the concept of degree tell me the degree how many faces we have here and what is the degree so number of faces is 1 okay the only face is fe but what is degree what is degree of fe that is 4 yes or no that is 4 how many times a face is touching the edges you can say degree of face means number of times a face is touching edges number of times number of times so this fe this is touching here 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 yes or no so degree of fe is 4 is it clear to everyone is this clear to everyone if you want to understand you can understand like this think of every edge as a thick edge okay this is how you can understand think of every edge as a wall as a as a wall is it clear to everyone think like this two sides of wall yes okay so every edge has two sides every edge has two sides yes or no think of every edge as a so as a wall okay so now you can notice that if you have this graph a b c d in this graph what is the degree tell me what is the degree of f e sorry the degree of f e tell me so you can notice we have f e and and the degree is basically this is like a thick wall you think like this okay you think that this is a thick wall you can say okay it is a wall every 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 edge is a wall every edge is a wall you think like this okay now you can notice that okay so 1 2 3 4 5 5 okay 1 2 3 4 5 so the degree is 6 yes or no yes or no tell me is this clear to everyone is this clear to everyone so degree of face is basically number of sides of edges is it is falling on so that is the degree of a face number of sides so this is the definition okay number of sides of edges a face is falling on a face is touching or you can say falling on clear okay 
in a tree how many okay in a tree with this is the question you have a tree with four vertices tree with four vertices how many faces and what is the degree of face tree with four vertices so tell me the number of faces number of faces will be one that is your exterior face fe face and what is the degree of fe what is the degree of fe the degree of fe what is that tell me that is twice the number of n minus 1 yes very good okay twice this so the answer is 12 yes or no sorry uh, sorry answer is 6 clear is it clear to everyone so if you have a tree with n vertices then you can say tree with n vertices then you can say number of faces 1 and the degree of exterior face that is twice n minus 1 yes or no now a, ne- a very nice question i want to ask you a graph has a face with degree 2 what can you say about this graph a graph has has a face a graph has some face a graph has some face a connected graph okay let me take okay a connected graph okay let me take a connected graph a connected graph has some face okay a connected planar graph has some face with the degree 2 what can you say about this graph what is this graph g can anyone tell me think about it and tell me take copy pen and tell me this is a simple question take copy pen and tell me yes trj correct asis correct the only the only possibility is this remember the only possibility is this yes or no okay tell me the only possibility is when you have this graph this is the only possibility the single a is g must be a graph d g must be this graph yes or no can you notice this must be your g because whatever else you do whatever else you do now here you can notice the degree of fe only one face is there the degree is 2 whatever else you do if you take single vertex then tell me what is the degree if you take single vertex then what is the degree of fe that is zero right there is no h okay now if you take if you take this this graph then tell me connected connected planar graph then what is the degree tell me the degree now the degree is 4 if you take this graph for example okay for example if you if you take whatever graph you want to take you can take for example tell me if you take this graph do we have a degree to degree to face tell me what is the do we have any degree to face here what is degree of f1 and what is the degree of f e tell me degree of f e that is 1 2 3 4 5 this is the degree of f e and what is degree of f1 that is 3 so tell me whatever you do whatever you do the only possible the only possibility is this yes or no can you notice this question the only possible graph which can the only possible connected graph so this is a node okay a graph a connected planar graph okay let let me say a connected planar graph has some has some face with a degree 2 with a degree 2 if and only if tell me what if and only g is this graph yes or no if and only if is it clear to everyone let me know in all other cases the degree will be what 
greater than equal to three, yes or no? So can I ask you that this is a question? You have a connected planar graph. You have a connected planar graph with at least three vertices. This is the question. Okay. You have a connected planar graph. Okay, with at least three vertices. Then what can you say about degree of any face? Connected planar graph with at least three vertices. Then what can I say about degree of any face? Degree of any face. Hare Krishna, here degree, here degree is five. So degree need not be even. Hare Krishna, degree not be. Tell me, you have a connected a planar graph with at least three vertices. Then what can I say about degree of a face? Degree of a face that is definitely greater than or equal to three. Yes or no? Because degree two is not possible. Yes or no? Degree two is not possible if you have at least three vertices. Yes or no? Tell me. This point is it clear to everyone? Most of you have got given correct answer, but is it clear? Connected plane graph with at least three vertices. Then degree of face is greater than equal to three for any face. Isn't it? Yes or no? True or false? Got it? Clear? Simple, simple. So all these observations we have made. So let me let me uh, okay. Let me know if anyone has any doubt in this planar graph. So far, did you get it? Tell me. So far, did you get it? Okay, so now a simple point. Okay, the degree summation of all faces. This is the total degree of all faces. So this is the total degree of all faces. Can you? Can anyone assume? Uh, can anyone tell me like what will be the total degree of all faces? Means basically the degree summation of all faces. Degree summation. Of all faces. Okay, so it means it means summation of degree of face where f is face. F is a f is a face. F is basically a face. F belongs to faces. So degree of all the faces. What is that? Answer is that will be twice the number of edges. Why? Can anyone tell me why? This similar thing we have seen. Yes or no? Anyone remembers? Total degree equal to twice the number of edges. Total degree twice the number of edges. This similar. This proof we have seen. Hand shaking lemma. Okay. So the similar proof we have here. The similar exactly same proof. The proof. What is the proof? Every edge. Every edge will contribute a degree of two. Yes or no? Every edge. Because every edge is a wall, yes or no? Every edge is a wall, so will contribute. Will contribute how much? Will contribute a value of two, yes or no? A value of two, a value of two in the in the degree summation of all faces, yes or no? Tell me. A similar proof we have seen. In the degree, same the same point. Every edge, whatever edge you take, whatever edge. For example, if you have this edge, you can notice because of this edge. See, okay, very simple. Let me let me tell you. It's like this. Right now, tell me. Right now, how many? Uh, right now, what is the total degree of all the faces? Right now. Okay, let's make a chart. So, what are the number of edges? What are the number of edges? And what is total degree of all faces? Total degree of all faces. Okay, so right now, what is the number of edges? Zero, and total degree is also zero. Now tell me, just tell me now. Number of uh, edges one. Total degree of all the faces. Only one face. Total degree is two. Now let me add this edge. Total number of edges two. The total degree, total degree is four. 
let me add this is 3 total degree is 6 let me add this is okay 4 total degree is 8 yes or no total degree is 8 because this face has 3 degree this face has degree 3 and the, the exterior face has degree 5 yes or no you can notice exterior face has degree 5 and you can notice the degree of interior face the degree of f1 that is 3 you can notice total is 8 so every age every age every age is contributing a value of 2 is this clear so this is a very simple proof isn't it okay so summation of degree of all the faces degree of all the faces f belongs to faces that is equal to twice the number of edges very simple yes or no tell me how many faces all the okay let's solve this question how many faces in this graph quickly tell me so number of faces this is face f1 this is fe and this is f2 and this is f3 yes or no so total how many faces you have so that is four okay and what is the degree of each face tell me the degree of f1 the degree of f2 the degree of f3 and the degree of fe degree of fe that is one two three one two three four five that is 5 okay and degree of f2 that degree of f2 1 2 3 4 5 yes or no degree of f2 is also 5 and what is degree of f3 that is that is 3 degree of f so degree of f1 okay sorry uh, this is 3 degree of fe this is fe so let me write it degree of f e this is f e okay and this is f1 this is f1 that is 3 yes or no is it clear to everyone can you see total degree is what is the total number of edges tell me the number of edges here you can notice number of edges is what that is 8 you can calculate calculate the number of edges can you notice the summation of degree of all the faces, what is that? That is equal to 16 and that is twice the number of edges. Okay. In this graph, you can notice how many faces we have. I will explain Hare Krishna. V means number of vertices, E means number of edges, F means number of faces. Okay, V means number of vertices. Basically, it's like, okay, this V, this we will use as number of vertices. This E, this means number of edges. And this F, this we will use number of faces. Anyway, is it clear? Tell me here. So we have how many faces? Four faces we have. What is the degree? You can notice the degree of our exterior face what is the degree of exterior face 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 yes or no this is the degree of exterior face this is the degree of exterior face that is 14 isn't it okay so like this you can find what degree of f1 tell me the degree of f1 degree of f1 degree of f1 is what that is this is the degree of f1 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 degree of f1 is 6 sandeep degree of f1 is 6 is it clear tell me here in this question how many faces are there
नॉट प्लेन आर रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो यू कन्वर्ट ओके फर्स्ट वॉट यू डू यू कन्वर्ट इट any planar representation you just convert it what i can do this df i can put here yes or no this df i can put yes or no tell me clear like this now you can find okay now you can find so this is your f1 this is your f2 this is your f3 this is your f4 and this is your fe f5 this is your f5 yes or no fe f5 so now you can notice the degree you can find okay tell me the degree just quickly degree of f1 degree of f1 what is that 1 2 3 4 5 Degree of F one is five. Yes or no? And degree of F two, what is that? That is three. Degree of F three, that is three. Degree of F four, that is three. And degree of F five, F five, that is one, two, three, four. That is four. Yes or no? So this is the degree sequence. So that is degree of F five. One, two, three, four. Degree of F five, that is four. is it clear what is the number of vertices what is the number of vertices that is okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 what is the number of edges tell me the number of edges what is that okay 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 at 9 9 is it 9 number of edges that is 9 and what is the total degree total degree of all the faces degree summation of all faces degree summation of all faces that is 18 so all these concepts are they clear to everyone all the concepts clear face what is a face exterior face interior face number of faces planar representation planar graph okay non planar representation degree of a face total degree of all the faces everything so far easy right so far very easy yes or no this planar graph this concept is very interesting and so far it is easy yes or no let's see the proof one observation we made yes or no do you remember one observation we made this observation we made what was that that in every planar representation number of faces is same yes or no okay g is a planar graph let g be a planar graph and what observation we made that in all planar representation in every planar representation of g number of faces is same yes or no this this observation we made i told you this is observation number of faces is same anyone remembers this observation we made for k4 different different planar representation we took and we found that every planar representation has same number of faces now the proof the proof was given by euler the proof given by euler so euler proved that actually euler proved that this this he proved he also proved that number of faces will be what he also proved that the number of faces basically proof given by euler also number of faces also given by euler number of faces how many faces will be there number of faces is also given by euler or is also given okay in terms of in terms of graph properties basic basically euler only used the graph properties like number of vertices number of edges number of components tell me are these properties these three properties are they dependent on the representation are they dependent on the drawing these three properties number of vertices number of faces also given in terms of in terms of in terms of number of vertices number of vertices number of edges and number of components 
these three properties they don't depend on representation they don't depend on drawing yes or no whatever drawing you make edge crossing drawing without edge crossing drawing okay whatever drawing you make these three parameters will remain same number of vertices number of edges number of components so this proof let's see what is the proof given by euler but in this proof you have to understand one thing a very simple thing i want to ask you this is a question okay if i delete one tell me this is a just a simple question in any graph in any graph okay planar or non planar whatever in any graph you tell me this point okay you have let's assume in any graph g let's assume we have uh, k components in a, in any graph okay assume k components are there then tell me if i delete one edge delete one edge then what will be the number of components tell me then the number of components think about it and tell me you have any graph any whatever graph just okay just take some examples and you will see you have any graph whatever graph you have okay assume you have k components now you are deleting one edge then number of components will be what for deleting vertex we have seen right in the last class there was a gate question there was a gate question where we were deleting vertex this we have seen yes or no for this answer was what do you remember for this the answer was number of components will be the answer was n minus 1 to k minus 1 yes or no this was the answer in the last uh, last class we have seen this question this question we have seen okay now tell me if you delete one as then what will be the uh, then what will be the answer yes answer is basically either same or increase by 1 yes either same or increase by 1 because see if your age is part of cycle see you can notice if age is part of cycle if age is part of some cycle you have this age and that is part of some cycle let's assume you have this age okay this age you have okay and this is part of some cycle this is part of some cycle now you are deleting this as tell me now you are deleting deleting as then what will happen number of components will remain same yes or no number of components unchanged yes or no unchanged because number of components will not increase this age is part of cycle this age is part of cycle so if you delete this age if you delete this age still still we have the components will not increase yes or no for example this example you can take a b c d okay e f tell me which age is part of cycle you can notice this age e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 you can notice e1 e2 e3 e4 these are edges are part of cycle yes or no part of some cycle part of some cycle you can notice that if you delete e1 then number of components will be same if you delete e2 number of components will be same delete e3 number of components will be same yes or no is this clear to everyone very simple here you can notice that if i delete e1 e2 e3 e4 like one of these one of these if one age is deleted if age is part of cycle and you delete this age then number of components unchanged now let us see if age is not part of cycle not part of any cycle of any cycle tell me in this situation what will happen if your age is not part of any cycle what it means you have this type of scenario this is your age and this is not part of any cycle there is no cycle remember this age is not part of any cycle it means what it means there is a graph here and it means there is a graph here yes or no but this is not a part of cycle remember this cannot happen 
This cannot happen. Yes or no? Tell me. This cannot happen. Yes or no? This cannot happen. Because now the the age is part of cycle. Is this clear to everyone? This cannot happen. This cannot happen. Yes. This cannot happen. Yes or no? So basically, this will happen. That this is some area. This is some area, and this is like a breeze. Yes or no? This is like a breeze, isn't it? It's like a breeze. It's like India, Pakistan. It's like a breeze. So if age is not a part of any cycle, not a part of any cycle, you delete this age. Then tell me how many components? If you delete e, then number of components. What will happen to number of components? Number of components increase by one. Yes or no? Increase by one these questions in the gate exam they can ask you these small small questions they can ask you yes or no all this all these are questions each and every point is a question in itself each and every point yes or no this question already came in gate exam this is already a gate exam question they were deleting one vertex deleting one vertex this we have already seen in the last class Okay, and this is another question I have created. If you delete one age, then what will happen? Then number of components either they will remain same or they will increase by one, because it de it depends on the age that you are deleting. Yes or no? It depends on the age that you are deleting. If the age is part of some cycle, then number of components will remain unchanged. If age is part, if age is Uh, not part of any cycle. Not part of any cycle. Then number of components will increase by one. Yes or no? Tell me. So far everything good. This simple, simple one by one. I'm one by one. I'm explaining each point. You just understand each point. Okay. Everything will be. Everything will be good. Okay. One more question that I want to ask. Okay. in a planar representation okay in a planar representation in a planar representation if we delete one age then what can happen think about it and tell me take some example think about it and tell me in a planar representation we delete one age then what may, what may happen think and tell me what may happen in a planar representation you have a planar representation we delete one is then what may happen yes resulting graph will be planar no problem but what may happen see okay see this okay take me take one example a b c d e Okay, let's consider. Don't worry. Okay, just wait. T R J C. Okay, this is E one. This is E two. This is E three. This is E four. This is E five. This is E six. Tell me what will happen. Okay, tell me here in this graph. This is your graph. What is the number of components? What is the number of components? That is six. And what is the number of faces? Number of faces. One, two, three. Yes or no? Three. Correct. Now tell me. Now I am doing few things, and you tell me what will happen here. Delete E one, and you tell me what will happen. Delete E one. Delete E one. The number of faces and number of components. You just tell me one by one. Okay. Let's see. Delete E one. Then what is the number of faces? What is the number of components? If you delete E one. the number of components will increase by one yes or no number of components will increase by one and what is about the number of faces what about the number of faces remain unchanged yes or no same so remain unchanged same and here increase by one yes or no plus one here plus one is happening yes or no here plus one is happening here plus one is happening okay plus one increment by one now tell me delete e2 now instead of e1 delete e2 
डोंट डिलीट इवन डिलीट इ टू द नंबर ऑफ फेसेस व्हाट इज हैपनिंग टू नंबर ऑफ फेसेस इफ यू डिलीट इ टू जस्ट डिलीट इ टू व्हाट इज हैपनिंग टू नंबर ऑफ फेसेस the components are taken as components edges are not taken as components components are components only one sorry uh, oh sorry number of components was only one actually sorry 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 i was sorry okay why did not anyone tell me number of components was only one why did not anyone tell me number of components is only one raj my confidence was high but your concept should be high your concepts should be high okay so you can see number of components is one number of faces is three in this original graph in this original graph and if you delete even then number of components will become then the number of components will become two okay so number of components will increase by one that is the point okay increase by one so okay now tell me here if you delete e2 then what is the number of faces Delete it too. Number of faces. Can you see decrease by one? Can you notice decrease by one? Yes or no? And number of components. Number of components is still same. Can you notice same? So number of faces is basically decreasing by one. Decrease by one. And here you can notice number of components increase by one. Delete e three. What will happen? in the same graph just delete e3 okay what will happen if you delete e3 number of faces again two again decrease by one yes or no and number of components can you know number of components is same yes or no same one yes okay so can you notice what is happening here whatever you do okay whatever you do can you notice what is happening here let me tell you what is happening if age is okay so you have a planar representation okay this is the question you can see you have a g is a planar graph g is a planar graph okay and let's assume you have a planar representation p is a planar representation okay planar representation of g now from p we are deleting one age okay delete one age you can notice delete one age what what is happening can anyone tell me if you delete one is from from planar representation of g delete one is from planar representation of g then what is happening two things are happening okay either this or this one of these are happening one of these either components are increasing by one yes or no either number of components increasing by one okay or number of faces decrease by one yes or no or they are decreasing by one tell me either this is happening or this is happening but why this is happening it depends on the age it depends on the age that we are deleting if age is part of cycle if age is part of some cycle just think and tell me if age is part of some cycle then number of components will remain same yes or no number of components will remain unchanged remain unchanged but the the number of faces what will happen to number of faces the number of faces will decrease by one why why decrease by one see just think and tell me if your if your age is part of some cycle your age is some part of some cycle okay so your age is this this is your age okay ab and this is part of some cycle now you notice that you notice that 
it's like this there is a face here yes or no there is a face here and there is a face here yes or no because this is part of some cycle so definitely definitely there is a face here and there is a face here now if you delete this as if you delete this as e, e okay if you delete e then what will happen then f1 comma f2 merge ho jayenge na okay they will merge they will merge into one they will merge yes or no so this is the logic is this logic clear to everyone if the if the age is part of some cycle then this will happen yes or no if age is not part of any cycle if age is not a part of any cycle then what will happen your age it's like your age is like this okay your age is not a part of any cycle this is your age and this is not a part of any cycle so something is here and something is here yes or no so if you delete e then what will happen delete e then number of components what will happen to number of components they will increase by 1 number of components will increase by 1 and number of faces what will happen to number of faces number of faces will remain same number of faces will remain same unchanged so this is the point all these simple simple points all these small small points let me tell you can can you see these points can be asked in gate exam gate exam is all about these points yes or no all these small small points they can be asked in gate exam as a separate question each each point is a separate question each point itself is a separate question okay and each point we have seen each small small point we have seen yes many msq questions can be created nowadays msq is there many msq questions can be created so tell me in a planar representation we delete one as then what may happen tell me then what may happen either number of components will increase by one yes or no either number of components increase by one increase by one or or number of faces decrease by one yes or no decrease by one but not both yes or no both will not happen together both will not happen together can you tell me why both will not happen together why either this will happen or this will happen both cannot happen together why because tell me can i just want to see if anyone can answer it i have told you everything every small small thing i told you yes very good sandeep tarandeep very good very good yes because the age that you are deleting yes kumar is correct venkat is correct the age that you are deleting the age either it will be part of cycle or it will not part of cycle either this either this yes or no the age that you are deleting either it is part of cycle or it is not part of any cycle that's it okay clear so now let's see the euler formula all these small small points i told you each point itself is a question and now tell now let me tell you the euler formula euler says that this is the euler formula euler formula okay what euler says is that if you have a planar if you have a finite planar graph if you have finite planar graph okay with with number of vertices equal to v number of edges equal to e number of components equal to c okay number of components is equal to c then then number of faces what will be the number of faces then number of sorry number of faces then number of faces let's call it f okay so number of faces will be this formula f equal to e plus okay so you can basically then then it will happen v plus f equal to e plus c plus 1 so from this you can find f yes or no this is your f p plus f equal to e plus c plus 1 this is a formula this is euler formula 
okay and the proof is very simple now actually all the points we have seen so now the proof is very simple the proof is extremely simple what is the problem to this mcafee okay so the proof now you can notice the proof is excellent and very simple see tell me you have a graph with zero edges okay proof is very simple okay in proof in terms of edges in terms of number of edges so in terms of number of edges we can see the proof tell me if e is zero if a equal to zero then it is it satisfied if this is equation this is equation one is it true tell me if e equal to one then equation one is true or not tell me if e equal to g sorry if e equal to zero if e equal to zero then automatically tell me what will happen what will happen to number of components tell me what will happen to number of components if e equal to zero then number of components if yes number of components is v itself yes or no number of vertices number of vertices yes or no and what will be the number of faces can anyone tell me number of faces akansha sandeep can you tell me number of faces there is no is only one face so is is this true is this equation true equation 1 equation 1 says that v plus f is equal to e plus c plus 1 is it true let's check okay so is it true let's see let's check so c plus v is equal to c so c plus 1 is equal to e e is zero e is zero so this is true right equation 1 is true so if e equal to zero then equation 1 true then equation 1 true yes or no correct if e equal to 1 uh, so if e equal to zero then equation 1 is true yes or no tell me let us assume let us assume that this equation is true let us assume equation 1 is true equation 1 is true for for any planar graph for any planar graph with e or less than e edges which e, e or less than e edges this is our assumption tell me is this clear see for if e equal to 0 then equation 1 is true equation 1 is true you 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 told me you told me that equation 1 is true yes or no because when e equal to 0 then this will happen so automatically equation 1 is true yes or no tell me correct now let us assume let us assume that let us assume that equation 1 is true for any planar graph with e or less than e edges with e or less than e edges let's assume now i will prove that now i will prove then then equation 1 will be true equation 1 will be true for graph for graph for planar graph for planar graph with e plus 1 edges with e plus 1 edges as well okay this is what we want to prove okay this is what we want to prove equation 1 is all okay we are assuming now we will prove that equation 1 is true for all planar graph with e plus 1 edges as well so tell me what i have to prove tell me what i have to prove what i have to prove what we have to prove tell me we have to prove this equation yes or no we have to prove that number of vertices plus number of faces is equal to number of edges what is number of edges e plus 1 yes or no tell me yes or no because this is what i want to prove already this is my assumption according to my assumption according to my assumption this is true according to my assumption this is true v plus f is equal to e plus c plus 1 according to my assumption this is true yes or no tell me according to my assumption this is true yes or no correct is it clear to everyone according to my assumption this is true now what i have to prove i have to prove this that this is true that this is true yes or no tell me i have to prove this is true yes or no how can i prove very easily very easily i can prove okay this is what i need to prove so delete one edge 
now let's delete one is delete one is what will happen either the number of components will decrease by one either the number of components either the number of component tell me i have to prove that that okay when you have e plus one edges this is what i have to prove see if you delete one is then either the number of components will deleting is then automatically this is decreasing by one yes or no can you notice if i delete one is then can you notice this is decreasing by one either number of component decrease by one sorry the number of components increase by one or number of faces decrease by one yes or no okay so tell me here can you tell me if you are deleting one is you are deleting one is so this is decreasing by one so this is decreasing by one automatically this is in this case this is decreasing by one this is increasing by one so the equation is still true yes or no yes or no balanced is equation is still balanced equation is still balanced yes or no equation is still balanced equation was is still balanced now you can notice you delete this then you delete this so this is decreasing by one and this is decreasing by one 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 so again equation one is balanced yes or no okay so can you see whatever happens this happens or this happens equation one is true is it clear to everyone i don't want to use the induction and these type of technical terms i did not want to use so this is a simple proof i try to give is this clear to everyone what i want to say is this equation is always balanced because when you de decrease edges what i want to say the final thing that i want to say this is the final thing i want to say see this equation okay for any planar graph just look at this equation for any planar graph okay v plus f equal to e plus c plus 1 what i want to say is that if you decrease this if you decrease this parameter then the equation will always balance this is what i want to say if you decrease this if you decrease this so what i want to say is that if you decrease this by 1 then either this will either this will increase by 1 so equation is balanced yes or no tell me yes or no so if you decrease this by 1 then this will increase by 1 so equation balanced or 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 this will happen so again equation balanced that's it so equation is always balanced so this is a proof by induction anyone has any doubt you can skip the proof see you can skip the proof but these points you cannot skip if you want you can skip the proof hari krishna we have proven for zero edges so automatically for one edge is it proven for automatically two edges proven automatically three edges proven yes or no we have proven for e edges so if e edges satisfy then e plus one edges satisfy yes or no hari krishna if e edges satisfy then e plus one edges will also satisfy we have proven that zero edges satisfy zero edges satisfy so automatically one edges will satisfy automatically two edges will satisfy automatically three edges will satisfy yes or no yes or no zero edges we have seen i have proven that zero edges will satisfy the equation the equation is satisfied when you have zero edges okay and we have proven and we have proven that if e edges satisfy the equation then e plus 1 edges will also satisfy the equation so from zero edges you can go to one edges from one edges you can go to two edges from two edges you can go to three edges and so on so this is the so for all the number of edges we have proven it sandeep there may be there may be different different uh, ways of proving okay this is one way of proving uh, on internet on youtube i have one video i will share in that video i have proven by a different way so different different me methods are there for proving see the proof is not important but what is important tell me proof is not important for gate exam these points are important these points no kumar is 
of course the result is important but these points are important these basically these points on which we have built our proof our proof you can skip the cherry proof is a cherry cherry you can skip but the fundamental points they are important yes or no this complete proof this is a fundamental points some basic basic points okay and then there is a proof you can skip the proof you can throw out the cherry but the fundamental points you must you must know because every point itself is a question so if anyone has any doubt in this final proof any doubt in this final proof then you can skip this final proof this you can skip this one okay this this you can skip but these points you cannot skip every point is a question this is your euler theorem anyone has any doubt let me know let me know So give me a second, okay? Yes, so so this is your euler formula and this is an interesting formula okay for connected graph what will be the formula can anyone tell me so this is your euler formula you can see this is euler formula okay this is euler formula basically here number of vertices is v and number of edges is e and number of faces number of faces is f and number of components that is c so euler formula is v plus f is equal to e plus c plus 1 if you have connected graph then what will be the formula for connected graph if graph connected if graph is connected planar here the graph here the graph is planar graph for planar graph Okay, so if graph is connected planar, then C equal to 1, then automatically V plus F is equal to E plus 2. Okay, V plus F equal to E plus 2, yes or no? That's it. Is it clear to everyone? So can you solve this, this question? Tell me what is the answer? What is the answer for this question? Gate nineteen ninety. This which of the following graph is planar? Yes, this is planar, right? What else? Actually, I will prove. Okay, actually, just wait. Actually, I have to prove. Okay, just wait. Uh, actually, okay, so I have to prove it. Okay, so let's see this question. Okay, let's see this question right now. Gate 2005. Tell me what is the answer? Gate 2005. Connected planar graph. Connected, the graph is connected, remember. Three vertices, 19 is the number of faces in planar embedding. What is the number of faces in planar representation? That is very simple because V plus F is equal to E plus two. Okay, 
So from here, F is equal to E plus two minus V, and that is your answer. So number of faces will be that. Okay. So number of faces. If number of interior faces is asked, if they ask you number of interior faces, if they ask you this number of interior faces, that will be seven. And number of exterior faces they ask, that will be one. Okay. For this question, answer is eight. This is gate two thousand. Okay, twenty twenty one. Tell me the answer. Twenty twenty one. Undirected connected planar graph. Planar graph. Connected planar graph. There are eight vertices. This is twenty twenty one question. Latest question. So eight vertices you have plus five faces you have. That is equal to e plus two. Okay. So from this what you got? So from this you got. Yes or no? This is the answer. No. This is the answer. Okay, so the answer will be eleven. Is it clear to everyone? This type of question they can ask you directly in the gate exam. Direct questions from uh, Euler theorem. See, these questions are boring. These questions are not interesting. Okay, and uh, students are very lucky that uh, the questions are asked directly on the formula. Okay, but remember. Formula anyone can apply. Formula anyone can by heart. Okay, everyone knows formula. This question, almost everyone has corrected it. Almost everyone. Okay, every series student has corrected it. But important thing is these points. Remember when I was discussing Euler, all the points that I told you, every small small point, deleting one is what can happen. Age is part of cycle. Age is not part of cycle. What can happen? Number of components increase. Number of component. Number of faces decrease. these points are important in gate exam they will ask you these points these are the nice points is it clear the formula based questions those are not interesting those everyone will do you must be different you must stand different because in gate 2021 if you see set 2 just see this okay gate 2021 set 2 if you see that is very hard a lot of msq questions and a lot of analytical questions very rare direct formula questions is there okay analysis full of analysis set 2 2021 set 2 okay and let me tell you that set if you want to answer that gate that gate paper if you want to answer then you must study like this can you see if we study like this all the small small points i told you okay the small small fundamental points for any proof if you study like this now you can handle all the questions yes or no now now you can handle gate 2021 set two type of paper is it clear to everyone okay now do you remember okay do you remember that this i told you result Okay, let's see result one. One result we are going to see, and you already know the proof. You already know the proof actually. I don't even have to tell you. I just have to tell you that. Okay, do you remember I told you? If you have a connected, tell me. If you have a connected planar graph, if you have a connected planar graph with the number of vertices, with the number of vertices greater than greater than equal to three. Do you remember this? Connected planar graph. Connected planar graph with number of vertices three. What was the thing? Then what is the degree of each vertex? Do you remember this? Connected planar graph number of vertices is at uh, at least three. Then the degree of any face that was greater than equal to three. Yes or no? Yes. I told you degree of face cannot be two. Yes or no? For every face. For every face. Okay. Just apply this now. Okay, so you can notice for any connected planar graph, this we already know. This is not the result. This we already know. If we have connected planar graph uh, with this, then this will happen. Then degree of every face is greater than equal to three. Okay, so now you can notice that this is your result one. Result one is that if you have a connected planar graph with connected planar graph with the number of vertices number of number of vertices okay number of vertices greater than number of vertices greater than 
greater than 2 okay then the result is this then number of edges this is the result okay then definitely then definitely number of edges will be less than equal to 3n minus 6 and the proof is extremely simple okay the proof is simple why because you know tell me you already know because you can see you can see that because it is connected because g is connected because g is connected planar with the number of vertices with number of vertices greater than 2 so degree of face degree of any face that is greater than equal to 3 yes or no so can i say the total degree tell me the total degree of all the faces what is that tell me total degree of all the faces tell me total degree of all the faces that is twice the number of edges okay now okay if i write okay if i take the minimum degree if i take the minimum degree for each vertex if i take 3 into f then what can you say then what can i say can i say this see this is the total degree this is the total degree this is the total degree of all the faces if i take the minimum degree this is the minimum degree of all the faces yes or no this is the minimum degree of any face minimum degree of any face like of course yes or no this is the minimum degree like so you can notice that if i put here if i put you have f number of faces for each face if i put three then this will be less than equal to two yes or no very simple this point we have seen already you are decreasing every value you are decreasing every value so finally the final value will like this from this tell me what is f you know euler formula connected graph connected graph connected planar graph so euler formula says according to euler formula connected planar graph so f is equal to what f is equal to e minus n plus 2 yes or no e minus n plus 2 that is equal to less than 2e so from this can you see 2e minus 3n plus 6 less than equal to 2e so from this can you see e is less than equal to n minus uh, from this you can notice that 3n minus 6 yes or no very simple right all the things you already know all the things you already know this is the proof so for any this this is a proof for any this is the result remember this is the result for any connected for any connected planar graph okay uh, in which you have at least three vertices at least three vertices then this will be true and tell me one more result i want to check if there is no triangle okay this is a point so you have a connected planar graph you have connected and you have planar graph okay and let's assume number of vertices is greater than or equal to 3 and let's assume there is no triangle let's assume there is no triangle yes yeah, this is the last point okay there is no triangle then then what can you say about degree of every face there is no triangle let's assume okay then what can you say about degree of every any face yes now the degree will be greater than or equal to 4 because degree 3 when can you get degree 3 when can you get degree 3 there is no triangle but there can be cycle i am not saying acyclic Tarandeep, i am not saying acyclic i am saying there is no triangle okay you can have this type of graph you can have this type of graph you can have you can have this type of graph there is no triangle if there is no triangle then degree of every face is what at least four because the only possibility for getting degree three is this yes or no the only possibility to get degree three face is this yes or no so if there is no triangle if there is no triangle then degree of every face is for every face for any face now you can just use this okay so just use this okay now uh, now we can use this then what we will get so this result 2 we can get so connected planar graph 
with number of vertices greater than equal to three and and no triangle and no C three or you can say no triangle. There is no triangle. Okay, there is no triangle. Then we have a result and that is that result is two n minus four. Then e is less than equal to two n minus four and the proof is very simple. And the proof is what? Because you know no triangle. So what is the degree of any face? Tell me. The degree of any face is at least four. At least four. Yes or no? Degree of any face is at least four. Clear? Degree of any face is at least four. So, but you know what is the degree summation? The degree summation is two e. If I put it four f. Means if I take this value, if I take if I take this minimum value, if I take this minimum value for every face, for every face I take this minimum value for every face, then it will be less than two. Yes or no? For every face I am taking the minimum value, the minimum value I am taking for every face. Okay, so this will be like this. Yes or no? So four e minus b plus two is less than equal to two e, and from this you can notice that e is less than equal to Two v minus two v minus four. Is this clear? This proof quite simple. Tell me, yes or no? Okay, so this is our last proof, and uh, now actually uh, the remaining things you can do because. Now you can prove using uh, using this you can prove that k five is not planar. Some students were asking which graph is not planar. So let me prove that k five is not planar. K five not a planar. K five not planar. Because tell me k five. You can notice in k five. You can notice in k five how many edges I have. How many edges? For ten edges. Number of vertices. Five vertices. Now, okay, number of vertices five vertices. Now, if if K five is planar, tell me if K five is planar, then what should happen? If K five is planar, then this equation should satisfy or not? Then this equation should satisfy. E should be less than equal to three and three v minus six. Yes or no? Tell me yes or no. If K five is planar, and you know every planar graph, every planar graph, every planar graph, if K five is planar, every planar graph with at least three vertices, every planar graph with at least three vertices, this equation will satisfy. This equation should satisfy. So if K five is planar, then this should satisfy. But this is not satisfy. Yes or no? Not true. Not satisfied. So K five is definitely non-planar. This is the proof. K five is not planar. Yes or no? Yes or no? So K five is not planar. And similarly, K three three is not planar. Is there any triangle in K three three? Do we have any triangle in K three three? There is no odd cycle, so there is no triangle. So in K three three, you can notice number of vertices six, number of edges nine, and you also notice that there is no triangle. Yes or no? There is no triangle. There is no cycle of length three. So this equation should satisfy or not? So this should satisfy. Yes or no? When you when you have no triangle, then this should satisfy. when there is no triangle so this should satisfy but you can notice this is not satisfied yes or no 9 is less than 2 6 minus 4 not not satisfied yes or no so so k33 is not planar because if k33 is planar if k33 is planar then this should satisfy if k33 is planar is planar Then this should satisfy, but this is not satisfied. So it means K three three is not planar. Is this clear to everyone? K five comma K three three. These are not planar. 
proof is simple okay so that's it this is enough actually what uh, all the things that i wanted to explain all these things i have explained 